Hello everybody, welcome again in the PHP Basics course part 11. Today we will talk a little bit about the client-side interaction with server-side in more detailed way. And we talk about the post and get methods and how to exchange data between the client-side and server-side. Okay, so let's take a look about at our previous receiver uh, which was a very simple PHP script called received PHP and the form was a HTML static page with the form action parameter and set to received PHP so the HTML request was sent directly to received PHP in many PHP applications, uh, you have the, uh, let's see, the pattern when the form is sent uh, to self, to the same file which uh, is receiving. Uh, to, today I want to avoid this uh, mechanism this pattern because I want to exactly explain you how the page is interacting with another page uh, in the further examples we will be using the same action so we will be sending the request to the same file and display result and send form again and again uh, for the lesson purposes for the learning course I have created two files one is the static HTML file and the second is the scripting PHP file okay so um, here we only do the simple echo instructions from the get uh, value passed to the script we could also get those value into the local variable and later let's see said hello well this is known from the lessons about the variables so those value taken from the special structure special array uh, called underscore get which is the system array provides you by the php processor and you can assign to your local value and use it later as a simple variable. It's pretty uh, more to and easier to understand to assign the value from the formula to the uh, simple variable and use it in a scripting language. So let's see the result. Hello, John. So. Uh, we have passed the value John using the get method as you can see it could be done simply by the URL uh, I can change it here to Kate let's see and as you can see the value uh, passed to the script using the get method is imp interpreted in a PHP script and it could be used for a calculation whatever you want save to the database and, and so on um, so this is the first method using the get method this is the HTTP get method to pass the uh, parameters to pass the values to the script with the user interaction let's get the, go back to the form and do some some changes here so as you know the HTML there is a uh, attribute for the form tag called method and as you can see the editor is uh, highlighting the known attributes and here we can change the way how the form is sent to the script receive PHP in this case uh, and let's see what's the difference so I type here let's see George and send it 
I'm oh, sorry, I didn't refresh page again. Okay, so we have sent the George using the post method. And let's check what do we have in the in the uh, fire bag, the bagging tool. As you can see, there is no get receive PHP, but the post receives. So the method used to display those page is post. And in the post sections, you will see the parameters, the same like we have seen before in the parameters get section. As you can see, there is no data here because the post data is put in another place on the not in the URL directly but in the header of HTTP frame uh, this is another way to send the data to the server in our case to the PHP server scripting language so the data is sent but our script does not respond why because we have used the method get and if we want to get data using method post, which was posted to the server, we need to use the special array called underscore post. And this is exactly the same like in the get method. You are, you can, you will be able to receive the method, the value using method post. As you can see, and you can find it in many web pages where you are trying to uh, refresh the page which was displayed uh, using the post method the request was the type post you will be you will see the confirmation to send again the post data because uh, it could cause the sending formula again and again so the firefox and the other browsers are asking you are you sure you want to send those post data again a post data is used uh, to send bigger data to send a lot of information because if you send uh, data using get you have a limited capacity of the data that you can send in the url so for a big data, for uh, editors, and if you are using the content management system and there is a large blocks of text, you always use the post method. In the Ajax technology, you can use also post and gets, and it doesn't matter. Actually, it it's, uh, depends on the actual needs. So we have learned how to get data using post and how to get data using get if you are sending a form and don't specify the method the default value is get so remember the default value the default method to send the data is get so if you want to get uh, the data using get http method you need to use get and here there is nothing because no get has been sent and remember that you, if you are typing an address and pressing enter on the browser you also sending the get method and if you want to pass some data using get method you are simply using the, this syntax when after the question mark there is a name of the uh, parameter and the value and if you want to send another uh, parameter let's see uh, my uh, age we can do it in this way and of course our script does not receive those uh, value my age and uh, but I will create a age and get it from the array hello here we will be our name and then your age is age yes sorry 
and your age is 21, you can simply change those data and the interaction performs. Of course, this is our debugging, let's see, method. Uh, the nice method in application is to use the form. This is our form. Here is only one uh, value. I will uh, put the another. Now let's see. Do some markup. Name. Here we go. The, hmm. Break tag. The age. And the name will be my save the changes, go back, refresh, and we get the nice form, age and name, two parameters, let's write here, send it, and we get the response from the PHP server, which is, hello Tom, your age is 12. Thanks for watching, and in the future lesson, we will discuss some more stuff with the posting, getting data and interacting between client side and server side. See you next time.